is part one of a uh, multi-part video that uh, I'm going to show you how to grab data from the web and then bring that data into your Xcode or your iPhone app and display it on a table. But more importantly, I'm going to show you how to save that data to a, a database and we're going to use a core data database. Okay, so this is part one, and really in this one, I'm just showing you how you can access um, data from a remote text file. Um, it could be a, a CSV file or a .txt file. It could really be just about any type of text-based file. Um, it could be comma delimited. Uh, this one happens to be colon delimited if you look at this file. Uh, this is on my Dropbox. Uh, it could easily be on any kind of web server. And as long as um, it's somewhere on the web that you can point to, I show you how you can grab this data and display it. Okay. This happens to be representing um, rain in major U.S. cities. Um, this is the number of days that city receives precipitation, the name of the city and state, and then the annual precipitation in inches, okay? So three columns here, each one separated by a colon. Um, so let me let me show you this though. Let's, let's start from scratch with this. I'm gonna create a new project. I'm gonna, I'm gonna share all this code with you, of course, like I always do. And we're gonna go single view, hit next. Um, I want this to make sure you check use core data because we're gonna use that later in this tutorial. And we're going to say, um, we'll call this core data from web. Since we're grabbing information from a web and we're going to save it into our core data database. All right, we're going to use Swift. Okay. And so I'm going to hit um, create. All right. And we're not going to do anything to the uh, storyboard right now. This is all going to just kind of display in the console. Um, so like I said, I have this text file that is um, on a web server. And if you don't have a web server, you, I'll give you the link to my, um, to this file so that you can actually use this if you wanted to um, for testing out your project, okay? And so if I'm gonna have to go between these real quick. I'm gonna grab some, some stuff here. Let me grab this function. And it's basically just two functions that I'm going to kind of show you. They work together to create this effect. Oh, uh, and I need <laughs> I need this um, dictionary here. I'll explain to you what that does in a second. All right, well, it should be error free, and I am no more errors. And let me just show you what's going on here. So this is this is a, a dictionary called items, and it, you in a dictionary you say the uh, um, name of your field, and then the type, and so days, city, and inches. The days are and the city are strings, and the inches are string uh, string as well. They're all strings and. And so this call file from web, we're going to want to call that from our view did load. So we're going to say call file from web. Okay. And what this does is it makes an NS mutable URL request and you put in the address to the file you want to um, get the data from. And this right here is a custom method that we call called HTTP get. And so that's right here. This is really does um, a lot of the work as far as making the NS URL request. Um, and it starts an NS URL session. And it does this. Um, it returns a data and a res data response and error, right? The data is the... Uh, the key information that is in the text file. If there's an error, we will be notified. And so that is, um, if you see this actually, <coughs> excuse me, um, this actually returns this information 
to uh, our call file from web function. And so that's right here, that data. And if there's an error, we print the error. Otherwise, we actually print to the console to data. And this is what it prints everything that is in that text file is what that does. And so that's not as useful. We want to break it down, right? And so we need a delimiter, a delimiter, I should say. And our delimiter is the colon. And so we're going to use that. So there's a couple of different things going on here. So we're going to use that in a second. But this, so this actually just kind of um, empties our array, make sure it's it's um, fresh. And then this line here, we're, uh, it, we're telling um, our uh, Xcode that we want to go and look at every line in this data, right? And we're going to separate each line by new line character, so basically like an enter key. And so that's all already um, by default. So it's going to look at each line. And so we, that's what happens here. We go ahead and look at each line and, and we examine the line. And if the line is not empty, we are going to um, break it up by our delimiter. That's what's going on right here. And actually, just to make sure this was working, I printed out um, column two. That's what this is here. So um, remember, this is zero base, so there's zero, one, and two. Uh, three lines and you know so zero one and two so that'll be printing out the inches of precipitation annually okay and and we're saving each item to our um, uh, dictionary right there right and that's it that's all there's some stuff I have commented out that we're going to use in some future um, in the, the next tutorial. But for right now, I just want to prove to you that this actually will work and grab information from the web. So when I run this, we're gonna we're gonna have an empty window in our emulator. But right down here in our console, you'll see oh, let's bring up the emulator. There we go. So let's let's take a look at this console. I'll bring that up. So as I mentioned, the first thing we printed out was this, the whole data set. So that is this right here. And then the second thing we did is we went through each line, and each time we went through the line, we printed out the third column. That's what we did right here. Okay? Um, so that works pretty nice. And, um, you know, I always like this, find this useful, um, having data on the web, because this is something that uh, I could update from time to time and my users who are using this app in their iPhone are none the wiser, but they're getting new data, you know? Um, so in the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to display this. Obviously, displaying this information in the console is great for us as we debug it, but we need for the end user to see it in a nice table layout. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And then the tutorial after that, I'll show you how to save it into your core data database, and then how you can retrieve it later. Okay. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. I hope you find this interesting. And please subscribe.